Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, high quality men are attracted to these seven, seven <laughs> feminine values or qualities, okay? All right, really quickly, if you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button where it's ever it's at, and do me a favor, share this video with your friends if it resonates with you. And if it doesn't, please leave my channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, our topic, those seven <laughs> feminine values, high value, high quality men are most attracted to. Okay, for those who follow my work, you know I'm not big keen on the whole terminology of masculine and feminine energy. So let's just say man and woman, okay? Let's make it simpler. Because oftentimes women are confused that when they're, they're a woman but they're in a certain energy, it's considered masculine as if it's a man. But it just happens to be great qualities that you have, just like men have great qualities and women have great qualities. So we're gonna talk about great qualities that are really attractive to both sexes, okay? So of those seven that we're really attracted to, quality number one, your actions match your words. Your actions match your words. It's so important that in the dating process, that in the relationship process, that we are consistent with our words. We're consistent with our behavior. If you're not familiar with the book, The Four Agreements, and I've got it somewhere here. <laughs> the four I should just go run and get that for you. But The Four Agreements is so important to learn for oneself because one of the first agreements that you make is to be impeccable with your word. And there's nothing sexier, whether a man or woman, is if your actions match your words. And I know, ladies, you're attracted to men that show up that way, and we are attracted to women who show up that way as well. And it's not that hard to do. It's learning to actually have integrity within yourself because that's highly attractive. I don't really need to go into that one too much detail. But number two is that you take personal responsibility for your choices. You operate from victor consciousness. I'm going to do that. Victor consciousness versus victim consciousness. Victor consciousness means that you're empowered with your life, that you take responsibility for all your choices. And while bad things can happen to people, you don't operate from the place that, you know, it's, you know, somebody else did something to me because most likely you on some level put yourself in that situation. I know that can be misconstrued. So I'm talking about the general things that happen. And I don't mean that you happen to be driving down the street one day and a car hits you. Um, yes, you put yourself there, um, but yes, that is an accident, okay? But in this particular case, I'm talking about the choices you make in relationship, the choices you make. In other words, you know that the man is bad for you, but you keep going after him. You know he's a bad boy, but you keep leaning into the relationship. You know his actions don't match your words, but you continually move into the relationship, and then you wonder why it collapses, and then you're pointing the finger at him, and not taking ownership, those three other fingers pointing back, taking ownership of your own part. Incredibly attractive quality. When a woman takes personal responsibility for her choices, she acts like a victor and not a victim. The third highly attractive feminine value that we high quality men are attracted to is that you know how to fight fair. And what I mean to say is relationships are going to have conflicts. They're going to have friction with one another. And you know how to express your needs, wants, and desires in a way that's conversational and not confrontational. You're going to express your needs, wants, and desires in a conversational, not confrontational way. If you're not familiar with the book, Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg, check it out because this is all about learning how to express your needs and how to fight fair. And what I mean by fighting fair is you listen to your partner's um, opinions and perspectives and you accept it as being true for him, just like he should accept your opinions and your feelings as being true for you. Because your feelings are true for oneself, just like his feelings are true for him. And when we can accept another person's feelings and we acknowledge another person's feelings and perspective, doesn't mean you agree with it, but certainly when you accept and honor it, that is a highly attractive 
feminine value. You know, I'm doing this tongue in cheek because I think it's just a human value, okay? Next is empathy. Empathy. You have empathy for your partner's feelings. You actually care about your partner's feelings and they care about your feelings. Empathy isn't as much about you can feel their feelings because that's certainly great, but you actually care about your partner's feelings and their feelings are important to you. Whoa. Their feelings are important to you. And just like you want that high quality, uh, you know, just like you're showing up as a high quality, high value woman, he has to show up as a high quality, high value man. Your feelings have to matter to him and his feel, and he sees your feelings as important to him as well, because that's a sign of emotional maturity. The fifth sign is transparency. Transparency, in other words, you're in a relationship where you don't have to sit there and second guess. A man doesn't have to second guess how you feel about him. You're expressing your feelings. You're saying, I like you. I like spending time with you. It's not a guess, you're transparent. Now, that's not to say you vomit your feelings. Let me do that again, vomit your feelings. But your feelings, your transparency is commensurate. <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of funny. Your, your transparency is commensurate to his transparency. A relationship is an investment and you're both making an equal investment into the relationship. So I'm here to say, don't give too much <laughs> and certainly don't lean back like everybody tells you to lean back. Okay, no, you lean into a relationship. You lean into the 50 yard line and that's part of transparency. That's a very sexy, high value, feminine action, okay? When you show up at the 50 yard line, you're not crossing the 50 yard line, but you're not leaning back on the 10 yard line waiting for him to get you, okay? Because men aren't going to do it. They might chase sex for a few minutes, but they're not gonna get you if you're always back. They're gonna be on to the next person. At least a high quality man isn't gonna be playing that game. That's for the book, The Rules. You can go read that book. The sixth. And this is an important one, is respect, is respect. I think it's so important that we treat each other with respect and, and sadly, ladies, I know you haven't been respected by men. This fucking sucks. Men are assholes in this way. But just because men have been that way doesn't mean that you shouldn't show up blaming every other guy that hurts you because that's what oftentimes happens. You've been hurt by other men. They haven't respected you. And now you don't respect men going forward. And I'm here to say is if you want an amazing relationship, then you have to start from a level of respect and then watch to see if his actions don't meet. And I wish I could shake men by the head and say, start treating women with more respect. But ladies, if you've been disrespected by a guy, don't show up in relationship already assuming the worst in men because if you start from a level of respect, start from a level of going, I respect you. And I'm gonna, like in other words, I'm, you're innocent before you're proven guilty. That's gonna pay so many dividends in the long run in your relationship. Yeah, that's a big one. Okay. And the seventh. <laughs> Number seven, uh, all right, this might be a Jonathan one, okay? By the way, there's more than seven out there. There's probably a hundred. I'm just coming up with the seven that I like, but the following is a Jonathan one. And for those who know me, uh, know that I'm a Leo. And we Leos, uh, oftentimes, if you're familiar with the five love languages, uh, our love language is uh, words of adoration. It's actually words of affirmation, but I like to say adoration. And I'm going to say the seventh one <laughs> is compliments, is compliments. You know, and it's not just compliment, but it's validating your guy. It's letting the guy know that he's your hero. You know, um, we men like to be complimented for our looks, but we also like to be complimented for our efforts and appreciated for our efforts. I can tell you so many men have told me over and over again that they've been in relationship with women that they haven't felt appreciated for who they were. And that's sad to me because I know so many men that make so much effort and yet they haven't been acknowledged for that effort. So I, I take appreciation and compliments together because I'm the Leo in here, but I like to be a, a complimented for my looks and I like to be complimented for my efforts. 
compliment him for my efforts. And I know I'm not alone. There are so many men that feel the way, same way. And high quality men certainly want to be appreciated and complimented for their efforts. Ah, oh, wow, we covered a lot. All right, I know you probably have some questions about what I shared. Please post your question below. I read all of them. I do my best to read all of them. I try to respond to them. I certainly like to engage and interact. So if you have something to say, please post it. And if you like the content, you go, God, I'd like to have access to Jonathan. Check out the link below or regarding a scheduling a one-on-one -on -one call with me to see if coaching is right for you. And check out my link for my VIP group as well if you can't afford coaching. All right, I'm going to sign off this video right now, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug. I'm actually giving it to you right now. And I'm going to ask you to do the same and grab yourself and give yourself a hug right now because we all need hugs. Yeah. All right, wishing you a super duper wonderful, fantastic day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.